And right now to do the stuffed codfish. All right. Let's see. So what did you put on the pan? Uh, just the Vegeline spray, but it's not Vegeline. This is olive oil, so it's actually awesome. I've got a little paprika on there. I'm putting some Morton seasoned salt. You can use Old Bay. Something like that would be nice. Or even for that matter, some Caribbean jerk seasoning, maybe. Who knows? Whatever you want. This is pretty simple stuff and loosely in, interpreted, I guess. I mean, we're going to try to start including some more of the ingredients and stuff on here so that there's not too many questions or confusion. All right, we'll put this together as soon as I make the crab mix. So, what we've got here is our crab cilantro stuffing, and I will break that down for you in a minute. But I just wanted to show you the technique first. So we basically took two little small fillets. This is not much more than eight ounces between the fillets each meal. Set here is based on about eight ounces of fish. This is cod, this could be salmon, this could be flounder. A lot of people have had stuffed flounder. It's a very awesome, awesome dish. So this is a play on it. Once again, we just do things loosely, have fun, price effective. If not, you know, you put your favorite thing in there. This could be lobster if you wanted to, butterflied out. All right, I'll be ready in a second to give you guys the information on what's in the stuffing. Getting ready to put this in the oven. Last finishing touch is to squeeze a little lime over this. It's kind of a Spanish type of stuffing, even though it is, uh, you know, something that you can do in New England, Cape Cod, or anything. So the ingredients in here is salt and pepper to taste. Everybody knows their own taste. Half a bunch of cilantro, diced fine, fresh, obviously. One quarter onion, white, diced up, super fine. Two eggs, raw, whole eggs, I think they're large eggs. The garlic and the lime, fresh, both. Red pepper, I used about a quarter of a red pepper, large, diced real fine. One jalapeno, seeded and diced super fine. A tablespoon of almond flour and a quarter of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And of course, the star of the show, the crab. And we'll bake it and you'll see that finishing touch. Babe, it smells amazing. Is dinner ready? I'm starving. It's almost there. I'm putting together the riced cauliflower right now, the last oh of it, gosh. little tureen. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right. <laughs> so, I wanna get the fish over here that we were showing everybody earlier. <laughs> so you got a little balance of, let me see, whoop, there's one. Mm, does that look amazing? Mm -hmm. Whoop, there's number two. We do have some juice. I mean, who doesn't but want we're gonna the juice? Top, we're going to top this with a garlic aioli. Put a little Tabasco, not much, just to zing it. Lemon juice, garlic, and an infusion of mayonnaise. And a little bit of garlic. That's the cheater's way right mm -hmm. now. But we would normally make an emulsification. So it's going to be a... awesome. All right. Let's garnish this. That is olive oil in there, too. There's no shortage of good olive oil. It's just a little pinch. All right, now hang on. Go nowhere. Where did my green peas go? Where are the green peas? Oh, here we are. <laughs> Runaway peas. All right, excuse my hand usage, but as a chef years ago, this is how it was appropriated. Okay, maybe a couple on here for garnish. 
All right, so that's the rice cauliflower. Super good for you. Little bit of green peas, our stuffed fish with the garlic aioli sauce. Um, how about a little bit of Parmesan cheese on that? Just give it that little bit of something. And you can use your fresh, good grated Parmesan. You can use a crafts, whatever you want. Um, like I said, it's a loose interpretation. I know this meal looks huge. We probably won't even eat half of it. No. <laughs> but anyways, you portion it up the way you want. Use what you want. We lay it out so you can play it out. All right. Enjoy, everybody.